Alec McKenzie. I'm, I'm a pediatrician uh, from Ottawa, Canada, the capital. I, I, uh, I, I'm also a researcher. I do um, molecular genetic research, primarily in spinal muscular atrophy. And I'm also uh, the, the co-chair of the, the science committee, uh, the science advisory committee for Fight SMA, a proud co-chair. I was working at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario doing my intensive care unit rotation and there's a little girl uh, named Alicia who had type 1 SMA and uh, I, I, I fell in love with her. She was a, a, a wonderful uh, uh, young lady and I just remember thinking that, you know, if you had to focus on one thing uh, to work on SMA it would be a worthwhile thing to focus on and then just when I just finished my residency <clears throat> they'd mapped the gene in 1991 I think uh, Conrad Gillum uh, who got funding from Fight SMA as well as Judith Melke in Paris and so at that stage I said rem remembering Alicia I, I, I said let's go for it and that was it this, you know it's rare that you get those sort of life-changing experiences that was one of them. There have been seminal papers describing the ASO, uh, uh, this therapy, and, and more progress on gene therapy. So there's been real fundamental progress in uh, these therapies that we discussed. There's another uh, a bit more complex phenomenon. Adrian Craner, a brilliant uh, uh, researcher, one that Fight SMA recruited actually years ago to SMA, uh, published a paper in Nature, uh, which is best, you know, one of the preeminent journals, suggesting that it may be more than just the motor neuron. There, there might be other cells that we need to fix uh, in order to get the, the best therapy for SMA. And it's it's a it's a controversial. Not every, not everybody believes it, and so it's l led to some lovely. Jerry Springer moments in the meeting this year. I mean, there's, there's been great uh, to and fro's as, as we batted back this rather subtle idea of, is it just the motor neuron or is it other cells that are involved? It's a subtle, but it ain't just academic because when we go to the therapy, you're gonna want to direct it to the cells that matter. And so we, we've been just talking with neurosurgeons and, and how to get it in the brain and into the spinal cord. And we may need to start talking about how to get it treatment throughout the whole body as well. So new therapies coming along, evolving, uh, new effective therapies, and possibly a new sort of uh, fundamental understanding of what the disease is itself. SMA is still a, a rare disorder, so um, knitting together the various patients from across the United States, Canada, Canada where I come from, Europe and elsewhere, to do clinical trials is a real challenge and, and getting the appropriate funding. It's easy to work, comparatively speaking, with molecules and test tubes, uh, even work on mice. As, as you start approaching the clinic, it can get expensive pretty quickly. So marshalling the resources, uh, human resources, and also the financial resources to do the clinical trials, I think will be a challenge. Getting the resources together for the clinical trials and, and launching newborn screening, those are the two uh, obstacles that I see. I, I know that Martha Slay and others uh, and, and the other uh, charitable agencies have worked very hard on getting a Congress congressional bill passed to fund uh, some of this, the SMA bill, uh, and that would be a huge asset if that could happen as far as resourcing the trials. I was joking a bit about being part of the Fight SMA team, but uh, we're saying goodbye to Martha after uh, two decades of leadership. It has uh, uh, been one of the best things about my professional career working with Fight SMA. It's, it's just a, a small group of caring people and it's a, it's a huge positive. <laughs>